So let's look at the different ways of controlling the system using this uh, 11, 14 or 16,000 BTU unit as an example. Plugged into the electrical box here is a standard Ethernet cable. This one comes with the system. If it's not long enough, then you can just go to the store, buy a longer one. The actual display mounts into the wall and the Ethernet cable just plugs straight into it at the back and now we're up and running. Um, you, there is bezel supplied with the control. Uh, the one we got with this unit here is a metallic type one. It just snaps into place once the display is mounted. But there are other types. This one here is a black one. These are standard Vima IDEA bezels and you can go to the IMTRA website and see a whole host of them and buy one that matches your interior decor. Uh, but it's a very unobtrusive, nice, small control. We can use the buttons on the front here to control the, the unit. Uh, everything from the dehumidification mode through to fan speeds, uh, etc. And also included in this unit is a remote control, a handheld remote with an LCD display. Very handy, so you don't have to go pushing buttons. You can, from the couch or from your bed, you can uh, control the system very easily. This comes with a wall bracket if you wanted to mount it on the wall somewhere convenient and then pick it up when you need to. This also includes a timer so that you can turn the system off after you leave the boat, delay it by up to 24 hours, or also uh, delay it coming on. So it's an off and on delay timer that's right here on the uh, display. Because of the way the control senses the humidity and the temperature, you can set the system to run as either controlling the temperature or the humidity. Also, you can use the humidity sensor to as a dehumidification mode. So you leave the boat and you set it on dehumidification and it'll keep it at whatever level you set it at, not just a guesswork like uh, other controls. This is actually you put in 60% uh, humidity, it will keep it at 60% humidity, uh, humidity until you come back to the boat, which is a great feature. This is a Wi-Fi controller. This is a third-party Wi-Fi controller. Uh, this has to be within uh, infrared sight of the display, and you have to have Wi-Fi on board and an internet connection. But once you have that, then with this little device here, if I can balance it there, and you download the app onto your smartphone, either the uh, iPhone or an Android device, then you can control things from your phone. Uh, set it to either the cool, uh, dehumidify, auto, or heat, and control fan speed, set the temperature. Uh, and so you could set it before you came down to the boat and have it running when you get there and uh, control things, uh, especially if the weather changes. So that's a great addition. We can also turn the um, display on there. If you have a favorite picture or something, then you can see now it's on and you can use those buttons to control the unit again. So that's uh, another option, controlling the temperature and the humidity from the display, from the Wi-Fi display, from the remote control and from your iPhone. Now, if after all that you're not convinced that this is the unit that uh, you should have and is how a marine air conditioner unit should be made, then I don't know what more we can do.